Mr. Cash, can you please guide us to a blueprint of building, building the items necessary for electrical energy extraction? We have watched the videos and listening in on the live feeds. Still, we are very uncertain exactly how to make these beads and how the energy extraction is. Is there a step-by-step -step process we can take part of? And the beads from Alex well documented in past two weeks. The, the beads which you make the energy from, um, I've seen some people within a couple of hours turn the internet, explain it fully, and then I know Alex has gone and corrected it. With a plasma, you have to understand the structure. When you put these, um, when you put these springs, I call it, you collect the energy of the environment in these nanomaterials. Look at the structure. The material is black, perfect black. This one is gray. This absorbs different kind of radiation from the environment than this one. So, in black, what it means, what is black, it means every field in the environment is absorbed and nothing is released. So, the black beads control and absorb every energy in the environment. This material was last year in England, shown by scientists in Farnborough to be absorbing 99.999% of all the energy in the environment as one of the best absorbers. So what you're doing, you are creating absorption through the nanomaterials and because of the tunneling, everything can be created that the fields leak into the free plasma and they go as a superconductor. The plasma condition is now not making the beads, but in so many ways, understanding the transformer of the energy right across the tube. So in the beads, what you did, you absorbed the energy from squeezing the GANs in the, between the plates, sticking one metal in it, and absorbing the energies from outside. Here you have a concentration of energy which gets absorbed, it's the same process as the ring. But here, especially when you put it into a GANS, now you direct where you want the energy of the GANS to flow in. Going, and this is going this is coming this way. Questo va in quest'altro senso. And this one coming this way. E quest'altro va in quest'altro senso. Even the dome, the whole look. Da dove lo guardi? They all have a directional flow. Uh, it's not this way. Direzione di flusso. Magnetic field they work not from just the magnet. When you wind it, get the position of the principal star. The way you want. Hello. We missed a little bit of that. It froze. That's you're talking about matter state. Doesn't count. Hello, but hello. The work of plasma. You got this and you got that. No, no, we all go that way. So the important thing is to understand when you wind your springs, 
This is the same situation, if you remember, when you were making the, the nano wires. What did I tell you? When you cut the nano wire, remember which way you lay them down, that when you make your system, it's all the same flow. When you make uh, springs for the confirmation, let me explain to you something very interesting. When you make your springs, the springs creates a tunnel of fields. And this dictates which way the field flows. So when you put the start from here, means any energy from here will go that way. Because before you roll it, the field was this way. And now it follows the same pattern. The field is that way. When you roll it, then it goes the same. It's a, because this point of reference is the stuff, what they call it, the principle. You decide which way the field goes. You're not dealing with matter anymore. It doesn't go this way anymore. Tell me, but when I do it, I'm coming to you. It's two different things. It's totally different thing in a yes. plasma field. Uh, Hello? You can pull me, yes. or I can come to you. Yes. When, when you pull me, I don't want to come, I sit. But when I want to come, I come with my energy. So I'm the principal, not you. Just because you threw a hook doesn't mean you're going to catch. I, I, I you know, think I don't understand. Yes, yes, you don't okay, understand. When you go upside down yes, in the yes. space, you will understand quick. Yes. <laughs> Nel tempo. Entro le prossime ore. Okay. Any other questions? Non è fisica questa. Any other question? Rick, do you have any more questions? Um, there is a question on that last diagram. Is the spring wired one over the other in opposite directions? Yes. Okay. One is gravitational, one magnetical. Don't forget, you are not making a spring on its own anymore. I know where your problem comes. You have a problem. Let's, let's solve this problem before you get into it, before it becomes a problem. Don't forget, when you make these springs, you are connect, excuse me, can you stop the discussion in the back? Um, when you make the springs, you connect somewhere. You connect it, you connect it to a supply, or you connect it to another cell. So you already have decided which one is magnetical and what is the gravitational. When you put another string across it, you're already feeding the gravitational. This is important because you look at it still in a matter state. If you look at here, there is a connection. If you look here, you have a connection. The center one, is gravitational. The other one is magnetical. Where is it? The cameraman. It's, oh yeah, okay, we are there. You see, this is partially, I explained this before, and uh, um, it was overlooked with the uh, Alexa system. And I explained this in the teachings with the picture of the Earth, and I drew it on the board, if you remember, with a pen, where the field of the sun comes, which one is gravitational, which one is magnetical. When you make the beads, when it feeds from the front to the back, the main one is always gravitational, and the other one is a magnetical. That's why you get them two parallel together. Because then the field forces the gravity, which is more, keeps on feeding itself, and then you feed the next cell. So what you actually create on these places here, or on the other beads, is gravitational magnetical. Here, in this one, this is gravitational, this is magnetical. And this is the total field. 
it's a big difference. It's a big, big, big difference between this structure and this structure. Here, you have a smaller pieces and you keep on adding field forces. Here, this one there. Oh, this one. Go back a bit, go back. Okay, so what happened? This one is magnetical. This one is gravitational, this is magnetical, and this is the total field balance. Here, your magnetical and gravitational is pieces adds to the next one. That's why they're so powerful. Yeah, but you have a small difference that in so many ways, every turn of a full circle in a bit like this plays as a strengthening itself because it has to overcome. If you put these rings next to each other, you have totally different property than the gap they have now. The distancing, because it changes the flow of the plasma inside the ring. The spacing counts. The opening of the bead, or what they call it, the gaps of the turn, they all play game now. How much you tighten it, it counts. That's why I said a lot of you will fail because you don't take this thing into consideration. Because how close this gets, let me show you. Yeah, you have more compact. You have a thinner field. You allow other fields to come in to interact or leak out. Because now you open the cage. Here, the cage is closed. Only what plasma goes through the pipe counts. These are all the things you have to consider before you do anything. And then you find out a lot of the, a lot of you will fail because somewhere, because of the tightness you're trying to be so good, we're still not nano coated. So you're going through the matter state. Excuse me, I'm sitting down. <laughs> He says, I know how to do that. Come on, stop chickening out. I want to speak. Goodbye from me, goodbye from me, and goodbye from him. No, no, no. All, all you need to do the razor and rotate it so it will create equal spacing, so you're not going to have the kind of starting point. What, what Alan says to make sure you have a perfect gap. You get a small razor and you go through each just by God just rotate it. Then it creates a standard gap between everywhere and there is enough gap for everything to be nano coated. <laughs>